What's the crack lads and welcome back to yet another video. So we're piling out the videos lads. We've got a lot of new cars every week now dropping and I'm going to keep you up to date with everything whether they're worth your hard earned coins or you've been grinding coins and saving up for spins. This is the new epic J League pack. Now this pack can be cleared. There's 100 players in it. Do I recommend clearing it? It's a difficult one, man. I'll be honest with you. These boosters that they're dropping now, they're beastly. They are beastly. But I don't think that they're probably worth the spin. I mean, you have 98 other players in this pack that are pretty much not going to get on your squad. Unless you are starting off and you've just got 100 spins worth of coins and you drop in 12,000 coins or whatever if you want to treat yourself when you download a free-to-play game. You're not going to be able to really clear this and have other players. Whereas with the other boxes, the boxes that come on Monday... I would say definitely go for them. That's not to take away from these cards though, lads. They're insane, right? So I'm just going to hide my webcam here a sec while we're doing this with the max booster. So this guy, Tulio, is down as a center back. He's got a face. He's got aerial plus two as his max booster effect. This booster is effective at all times and it gives an increase to finishing, heading, jumping, and physical contact. Yes, you read that right. You read that right, lads, finishing. This guy's got 72 finishing for a center back, right? So they're going to be crazy. They're going to be crazy with the stats and the positions lately. But I love it. I'm here for it. I love it. Like Giroud in goals, McTominay, super sub CF. I love it. Anyway, defensive awareness is high. His aggression and defensive engagement are very poor. So I would be using this card as my versatile player because he's quite small. He's not your aerial dominant threat. Yes, you have really good player skills, as you see here. Heading. Gamesmanship, man marking, interception, blocker, acrobatic clearance, aerial superiority, and fighting spirit. Interesting video to come on fighting spirit that was brought up in my live stream by Pez Styles and a couple of the other boys where we talked about the difference in fighting spirit now per position. So I'll try and do a video on that as well. But for now, a lot of the cards that are releasing do seem to have fighting spirit. And that affects their stamina when they're tired. It, it, it kind of, the way I always looked at it was that it gave plus five under stamina stat just to kind of make it easy. But I think it's even more nuanced than that now, right? But if we are looking at training this guy up, you've got 27 levels to go on him. And I'm going to give you an example of the training guide here. Right, so we are over on eFootballDB.com. And I know they're working on a lot of updates on this with the manager and the boosters and all that sort of stuff to get it in. So any feedback you guys have, they've asked me to send on, so I will do that. But this guy, Tulio, he's very, 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 I would say, <sighs> unusable, lads, I would say, right? Okay, so we do have his height there at 184, as we see here when we scroll down, right? Um, but you can look at his defensive stats. Apart from his defensive awareness and his physical contact, this guy is going to be very unaggressive or not aggressive enough with that defensive engagement. He's got header at 87. Yes, that's not bad either for a player that's 184. But you're going to be dependent on his player skills here a lot, as well as his defensive awareness, which is going to be maxed. And admittedly, that is going to be huge because you're going to be getting the booster on him, right? The big thing with training a player like this is the booster for jumping, heading, and finishing is all going to take him into the 90, especially with the physical contact is going to be 95 with the manager boost. And the, the booster that you're going to be getting on him here. It's just a pity that his aggression and defensive engagement is so low. So for me, he's a bit of a bust. Now, that's not to say that he won't be like Puyol, who can be an absolute beast for you, but I don't think he's worth spinning, lads. I just don't, right? Now, if you've got bags of money and you've got loads of coins and you just say, right, I want these two guys, of course, they're going to make an improvement to your squad unless you've got better players like Epics and whatever. But I would say that Sakai is probably the better option for the two of these because you can train him in different way ways, right? Plus, he gets speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina player stats. That's going to be huge. So he's get plus two to acceleration and a plus two to his speed, which means that you don't need to train him up past 86 on either of those if you don't want to and still get the max boost. Um, and even that goes the same for balance as well as stamina. You don't need to train that up and obviously they all tie in together, right? So when we go over to eFootballDB here, and as I said, lads, I'll keep these videos short and sweet to get to you the information that you need. This guy is a 91 overall right back with literally 36 progression points left to use in this, right? So he's six into passing, five into dribbling and dexterity, 10 into defending, and then seven into lower body. Now here's where it gets kind of interesting, right? Because this card is unbelievably broken at this because you're going to have 90 speed and acceleration with 90 plus stamina because you're going to get the manager boost and the booster boost. Lofted pass is going to be 90 as well. You're going to have low pass and ball control as well as tackling and defensive engagement all into the 80s. So from here, you can make a decision 
whether you want to have a Beckham-esque passer and put that passing up, right, as much as you want to go, because you're going to be getting the booster with it, obviously, as well, the manager boost. You could go 96, 97 if you wanted to and have a Beckham-esque passer that's cutting in from the right side, right? Or else you could probably go the way I would go. And even though he's down as an offensive full back, I would probably max out his defending lads to get that tackling up to 88 and then be able to have a bit into his aerial strength as well to make him just kind of like an all-round demon. Because trust me, 88 lofted pass for a right back is more than enough. It's the tackling and defensive awareness is what you need. And he's got bags of everything there. The only thing I would say is that if you don't want to go that hot on the defending, you could just keep it at maybe like around that um, and still get the boost with the manager in that. You know, maybe go 78 with the defensive awareness and then be able to just turn him into an absolute, you know, demonic speed freak because he's going to have the balance at plus 90 he's going to be getting the plus two to that and the manager boost so he's going to have 98 acceleration with that and the balance is going to have what 93 94 so yeah you can turn him into a bit of a beast i really like this card i would like this card a lot in my squad but i don't think it's worth it lads within the pack that it's in personally for me so that is it lads i will be back quite soon with another video as always uh, if you're enjoying the content don't forget to subscribe until next time peace